we are supposed to find the domain of the vector function r of t equal the square root of 4 minus t squared e to the power negative t then ln of t plus 1 so this is how the vector function is parametrically defined now if you want to find the domain of a vector function then we are looking for the interval over which all the functions that compose the vector function r of t are continuous in other words where the functional value of all the functions which is x of t y of t and z of t that combine to form the vector function exists so the functional value exists so now we can see that our x of t is equal to this so we want to find the domain of x of t x of t equals square root of 4 minus t squared so what we are going to do is that we will find the domain of x of t y of t and z of t then see where they are all continuous and that will be the domain of the vector function r of t so we know for x of t is a radical function and for all radical functions of this form they are continuous or they exist where the radicand is greater than or equal to zero so the radicand is whatever is under the radical sign now we can solve this to obtain two minus t into bracket two plus t is greater than or equal to zero. Now it's an inequality and we can solve it easily like this by representing this on a number line. If we set this out to zero if you equate these factors to zero, you are going to get t to be equal to negative two and t to be equal to two. Now the boundaries are inclusive. They are inclusive because they will satisfy the inequality. You substitute two here, you get zero, and zero is greater than or equal to zero. Now if you test for this region, let's pick 0 over here and sub in over here. So if you put 0 here, you're going to get 2. If you put 0 here, you're going to get 2 minus 0, which is 2. Then if you put 0 here, you're going to get 2 plus 0, which is another 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. And it is greater than or equal to 0. So the solution set of this inequality is this. meaning that the domain of x of t is given by negative 2 is less or equal to t less or equal to 2 now we need to find the domain of y of t y of t is an exponential function and this function is continuous everywhere so t belongs to all real numbers or uh, in interval form you can write it as negative infinity open to inf positive infinity open then for the lean function that is z of t z of t is equal to lin 1 lin t plus 1 lin t plus 1 
as for this function is continuous where t plus 1 t plus 1 is greater than 0 so we can also write this as t is greater than negative 1 t is greater than negative 1 so in interval form we can write this like negative 1 open to infinity open now we found the domain of all the three functions that com constitutes r of t we can also write this one as negative 2 cross then positive 2 cross now the intersection of all these interval is given by from negative 2 from negative 1 to 2 here is what we are talking about here is our number line then we have negative infinity to positive infinity then we also have negative 2 to positive 2 inclusive then we also have so this region over here so now taking two functions we are restricted into two in these two domain then the third function which is the lane function is also restricted in this domain negative one two two so it means the negative one is not inclusive so we have this domain for r of t so r of t r of t is continuous on the domain negative one is less than t is less than or equal to two or we can write this as negative one comma two cross so this is where all the two functions or where all the three functions are continuous is domain in other words it is intersection of all the three functions that constitutes r of t now we repeat the same process for this this time our x of t is equal to t minus 2 over t plus 1 over t plus 2 so over, for this one the domain is t not equal to negative 2 t not equal to 2 t is not equal to 2 so we can write this as write this as negative infinity open to negative 2 open union negative 2 to positive infinity open now for y of t equals sine t this is continuous everywhere so we have negative infinity to positive infinity then for the lane function which is lane of 9 minus t squared this is continuous where 9 minus t squared is greater than 0 so you solve this to obtain 3 minus t into 3 plus t 
is greater than zero and this will give us we have negative three here and we have three here so the solution set is this region so we have negative three open to three open so the intersection of all this will be negative 3 to negative 2 open union negative 2 to 3 open so this is R of T this is where R of T is continuous or the domain for R of T is given by this